My name is Thomas Weinset, and I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi. Today we're going to be taking a look at weather balloons, as you can see uh, one right here behind me. So we release these weather balloons twice a day from our office, uh, once early in the morning and once later in the evening. And we attach to these balloons instrumentation that goes up in the atmosphere, samples the atmosphere, and provides uh, valuable information back to us. So these balloons send data back once every second on the temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind speed. And they go about 110,000 feet up in the air, which is 20 miles. That's really high up in the atmosphere. That's higher than any planes fly. Uh, planes only stop at about 30,000 feet or so. So they go pretty far up before they burst and come back down. And we use that data to make, help make our forecast, and we put it into some of the weather models that we use as well. First, we start off inside by assembling the instrumentation package. The instrumentation that we use for weather balloons is called a radio sonde. And in this radio sonde, we have several different instruments that take observations in the atmosphere as the balloon ascends. The first and primary piece of instrument on here is the temperature sensor. So this extends in this arm going up from the radio sonde, and it measures the temperature with height through the atmosphere. The second piece of instrumentation is right here, and this measures the humidity. So this will tell us how much moisture there is throughout the atmosphere as well. Inside the radio sonde that you can't see, surrounded by the styrofoam, is a pressure sensor that will tell us what the atmospheric pressure is as well. And there's also a GPS, and we use the GPS to estimate the wind speeds. Now to assemble this, once we get it all up and running and plugged in with a battery, the data gets transmitted once every second back to this computer behind me here. And what we do on this computer is we want to check before we release the weather balloon and make sure that all three of these sensors in the instrumentation package are accurate. So we just compare that data and make sure we're good to go. So now that that's good, we're going to go ahead and head outside. So now we are outside in our balloon inflation building. And you can see here laid out on this table, we have a couple things. We have our weather balloon right here, so this really long latex balloon. And it's attached to this nozzle here. And what we have is a uh, feeding line that's going to bring hydrogen from tanks in a separate room through this line. It's going to inflate the balloon for us. We also have a parachute here, so when the balloon bursts, once it gets higher up in the atmosphere, this parachute will help slow the fall so it doesn't damage anything when it returns back to the surface of the earth. So now we're going to go ahead, turn on the hydrogen, and start letting the balloon inflate. So while the balloon is inflating right over here in the background, we're going to take this string and we're going to use this string here to tie together the balloon to the parachute to our radio sonde instrumentation package just sitting outside. Since our office and our balloon inflation building is located here at the Jackson Airport, we have to use this phone here to call into the uh, air traffic control tower to get permission from the air traffic controller to release the weather balloon. That way we make sure we're not going to hit any planes with the balloon. So we've talked to the airport control tower, they said we're good to go, so now we're going to release the balloon.